Hello and welcome back to Nibble Pop. Students often ask me which movies to watch if they want to pursue English literature for their honors, masters or major studies. It's a difficult question to answer because there are so many beautiful classic adaptations and period drama to choose from. But I have handpicked 10 movies which I think you must absolutely watch if you want to do well in your study of literature. So stay with me to find out more. As students of English literature, it is absolutely necessary that you know what Renaissance means, what England looked and felt like during the time of the Great Rebirth. The best glimpse into that fascinating age is possible by watching Elizabeth. Directed by Shekhar Kapoor, the film cast Kate Blanchett as Elizabeth and shows her young days and ascension to throne by making extreme personal sacrifices. If you like it, you may go on to watch Elizabeth the Golden Age by the same director which is about Elizabeth's mature days. The second movie is Shakespeare in Love. Although fact-wise there may be discrepancies in the movie, but it surely gives us an idea of Shakespeare's England and life of an emerging dramatist. Directed by John Madden, the film is a must-watch for students of literature. The third name is definitely The Ten Commandments, a very long but beautifully crafted film on the story of Moses from the Bible. Charlton Heston created history with his performance as Moses. You must absolutely watch this to have a good understanding of different biblical allusions often used in classics. The fourth movie is Oliver Twist, the 2005 adaptation of Charles Dickens' famous novel. Although there are other adaptations too, I especially recommend this one, directed by Roman Polinsky, starring Barney Clark as Oliver because of the meticulous period reconstruction, superb acting and effective characterization. The fifth one is a 1999 animation short film adaptation of The Old Man and the Sea, directed by Alexander Petrov. The film is a breathtaking depiction of Hemingway's timeless classic within a very short runtime of 20 minutes. The sixth movie happens to be my personal favorite, Roman Polanski's Macbeth. Polanski interprets Shakespeare, recreating not just the setting of darkness and doubt of Scotland's rugged land, but also the fascinating complexity of tragic Hamashia, Anagnorisis and Cathasis. Next in the list is a masterpiece that is not even in English language. Turn on those subtitles and get immersed in a whole new interpretation of Holocaust and human endurance. Life is beautiful. This movie will change the way you look at tragedy, literature and life as a whole. The eighth movie is a beautiful adaptation from the black and white era, To Kill a Mockingbird. Gregory Peck as Atticus Finch and Mary Batum as Scout. The film portrays with painful precision the shades of discrimination and racism in America. The next film is 1984 based on Orwell's book about a totalitarian future society it is the story of how Winston Smith sees his world and rebels against it. The movie is sure to keep a lasting effect and is an honest depiction of the original. Watch it once more after you have read the text and you will find it all the more enriching. The final masterpiece in the list is Gone with the Wind starring Clark Gable and Vivian Lee. Story of a turbulent romance during the American Civil War and Reconstruction periods. A must watch for not just literature students, but everyone. So those were the 10 movies, which I think you must absolutely watch right now. If you think I've missed any, then please write that down in the comment section. If you think you have watched any of these, then tell me how you found them. And if you haven't watched any, do them immediately. Like, share and subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Stay happy, keep watching awesome movies. Bye-bye.